before the update, I did my prep work for the game and replayed a few matches. I have literally no idea what's going on. And that being even an average player capable, I still like the game quite a bit. Despite everything being a real-time text adventure strategy. Oh god, make it stop! Make it stop! Yeah, today Stellaris releases its Federation's DLC, and even if you don't want to buy it, you too, Bob the Basic Level Gamer, you too will feel the wonderful advance of Average Joe Coding, by which I mean we get to experience the improvements in multitude of places dealing with performance of the game. Before I heard about the update, I didn't really care much for Federations, as I frankly usually play a xenophobic militaristic psychopath, so such things as unity and helping my fellow man, or Bob or whatever the fuck that is, was still a concept that resembled communism, and thus the Antichrist incarnate. Well, unless I was playing a porn mod. In which case, bring on everyone! Um, yeah, I'm not kidding, there is such a thing. I even made a video about it, so ch check it out, maybe? Anyways, for me, I cared more for the quality of the game rather than its features, and performance was right up my alley. So, while not immediately felt, the late game sure becomes a bit snappier, and that's quite nice. Now, as I went on to read the patch notes and look at the trailer from the developers... The next expansion coming to Stellaris. Federations has a strong focus on diplomacy and will feature a reworked Federation system, as well as the galactic community, which is sort of a United Nations in space, and much more. <laughs> Yeah, um, and pen mightier than the sword thing, uh, oh god, that sounds quite dreadfully boring, if I am honest. Now, of course, there are people that will enjoy such a gameplay and all that stuff, but, um, as I said previously before, I prefer xenophobic, militaristic, uh, psychopaths, so maybe not for me, but no, on serious note, though, there is plenty of interesting things changing. So, yeah, Federations may actually be really nice, and the fact that they are reworked and overall just improved that's all good. But for me, as I said, of course, the performance is the main thing. So, well, hey, it, just for that, it's worth playing. Oh, but hey, they introduced Juggernaut ships, so that's awesome. And of course, Mega Shipyards as well. So, hey, I'm not complaining at all. Oh, and for balance, Xenophile Empire start with additional envoys. Hey, I'm not complaining even more. <laughs> But on serious note, though, there are plenty of little changes in the patch notes, so you can read them down below, there will be a link for it all. But when it comes down to Stellaris in general, there are still issues. No matter how much performance you're gonna put on it, it's an old game, or rather it has an old engine, and that can be felt the further we go on. And the limitations of it, and modability as well, kind of, starts to take its toll in some parts. Especially when you look at some more extravagant and amazing mods out there. And I'm not talking about the porn mod, okay? So, yeah, um... Uh... Uh, anyways, it's still wonderful to see that Paradox is actually giving free stuff, sort of, quote-unquote, to the basic users that don't have this DLC and so on and so forth. And hey, if you have a friend that has this DLC, you can too play the Federation's uh, expansion thing. Let's not forget about that wonderful feature of Stellaris. So there you go, the Federation's update or 2.6 Vern uh, update thing. Uh, well, there you go. Some interesting things, uh, some, well, typical things. Just time to replay a match or two again. 